grid gain for ZOS is basically grid gain, just like it is for everything else, except that it now runs on ZOS uh, on the IBM mainframe. And grid gain is essentially an in-memory computing platform that works by moving data into memory, into RAM, and then distributing the work across lots of commodity or ZOS now processors. And essentially what you get is tremendous speed and tremendous scale. So IBM and GridGain have come together and collaborated closely to make sure that GridGain runs extremely well and efficiently on ZOS. The industries that are most likely to benefit from grid gain on ZOS is pretty much all of them. The initial uh, targets are going to be financial services, um, but we're going to expand beyond financial services to pretty much all industries uh, very, very quickly, just because almost all industries use ZOS and almost all industries use grid gain. In the banking industry, digital transformation is seen as the view and the strategy for dealing with these challenges, and it's pretty well accepted across many of our enterprise clients in, in all industries that they're undergoing digital transformation. Digital banks are more profitable. They are getting more return on their investments. They are operating at lower costs. They're getting more bang for their buck, if you will, in terms of their, uh, of their infrastructure. One of the ways that they can compete is to leverage the information they have across multiple lines of business about their consumers. So for example, if we bank with, uh, with a particular institution, they may have information and we might have products from them around our core transactions, loans, mortgages, cards. We may be small business owners, they have that information as well, or even investment services. So integrating that information and being much more agile in how quickly they can offer services and products that pull that information together across multiple lines of business can be a significant advantage in terms of meeting that competition. But the underlying systems are often very siloed. They've been built up based on application or they've been built up based on a bank strategy for acquisition. So as a result, often these systems are siloed and not tied together from the perspective of information flow across them. So a lot of the high value data that these OLTP environments are producing is often analyzed only in retrospect. So you get that insight after the fact. So there's a lot of technical challenges that exist today. There's also an opportunity, of course, to work with clients to help modularize their environments, find the right uh, granularity points to create those APIs, and introduce a more structured approach to real-time insights. So one of the ways that I believe we can really truly accelerate this digital transformation is integrating in-memory compute grids with the systems of record. Um, and in this case, by Compute Grid, it's really a combination of in-memory advanced databases, such as Ignite, combined with a sophisticated data abstraction and virtualization technologies that can access the core data from OLTP systems and do so in a way that's highly performant, do so in a way that does not impact the OLTPs, and be able to actually maintain a, an, a very coherent Compute Grid. So this concept is really important when you look at the challenges that we discussed earlier, right? It provides a very efficient mechanism to pull together the right set of information across many different OLTP systems, do so in a way that maintains currency and consistency, provides consistent and accurate information regardless of the consumer, do so in a way that doesn't impact the OLTP, and for those spiky workloads that tend to, uh, to um, you know, increase for our financial institutions as the rate of uh, interaction with devices goes up, this kind of a, of a compute grid that's integrated with systems of record can handle some of that spiky workload and take some of the pressure off of the existing OLTPs. Mm -hmm.